so hi guys so Paulo here we're going to be uh, doing a bit uh, uh, haul of books I've been buying some books more books than usually but I'm going to try to stop a bit because I'm buying too much um, so without further ado let's head first of all I'm going to show you some solo novels and some I bought um, and others that I believe I have not shown before but you never know so what we've got here is James Amour and Jeff Strand The Haunted Dark for The Haunted Forest Tour um, when I saw the, the, um, the information here I really enjoy what I was seeing here maybe a, a plot from the 80s and such are so I really wanted to to purchase this one because of that we've got here P.A. Douglas the old one this is homage for uh, Lovecraft it's even real uh, it's a short novel 200 pages uh, and it's a, a severed press uh, release which I really enjoy you've got here zombie rules this is the first novel of David Accord's series. Um, I, I enjoy zombie novels. There is no <laughs> hiding that, and so I wanted to to purchase this one and see if this is good or not. Then we've got here <clears throat> another P. A. Douglas novel called The Dark Times. This is supposedly another. Uh, zombie apocalypse series. Let's see if it's true um, And if it's good, of course, you've got here as you know, I really enjoy Tim Curran novels. So school moon is another novel by him um, I Don't have all of his novel, but I believe I have at least 12 of his novels most of them are uh, published by Severed Press, and uh, as soon as I s find some that cost seven, eight dollars, I, I buy them. Chris Pearson, The Swarm. This is a, another from uh, um, another horror story by uh, Severed Press. Uh, I've bought this one along with others that were uh, on sale on Amazon uh, for five, six dollars and such, like this one. Euros, not dollars, sorry. I'm not American, I'm Portuguese. Uh, a game called Quest. This is the only non war story, but as a short story and something that was akin to my uh, 80s and uh, uh, a bit of Isekai, if you wish. I really want to buy this one. as 120 pages novella length. And then you've got three novels here all by the same author which I knew he existed but never ever bought something from him it's Edward Lee okay these three novels are all published by Dead Eight Press okay. and um, they are focused on Lovecraft which is my favorite or uh, type of horror stories this one is, is the English horror this one is called The Hunter of the Threshold and Trolley number 1862. All of them are, this one is a bit uh, big, uh, like 260 pages, but the rest are 100 pages or so, so they are very easy to read. We've got also here Pangea, 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 I don't know, Exiles. This is a novel by Chef Brackett. Uh, uh, Severed Press has also different types of, of series, and uh, they have kaiju, zombies, and so on. And they have a lot of books of, uh, on that genres, monsters, and so on. And being a press that I, uh, being a company that I really enjoy, uh, I usually try to buy a couple of them um, to see. If, if, if this stick out, if it is, I buy uh, more books from these authors and so on. As they are 200 and, or novella length pages, I, they are very easy to read. 
we have also, also here these two are the, the, the fourth and five no, uh, series in the fantasy series of MD Wacken Wachlen Wachlen sorry um, the, I, I've bought the first three books back uh, I don't know ten years ago seven years ago and so on because the books are I uh, high apart from one from uh, uh, another the one the first one was Wolf Angel Fenrir and Lord of Slaughter and then he stopped uh, publishing these novels and after I believe it was three late years later he bought if he, he wrote two more Night Lies Bleeding and the Valkyrie Song um, all the novels have some kind of wolves and um, yeah I, it's a fantasy series let's see if I get to read it before I die um, another horror story by David Sodergen The Forgotten Island okay it's another horror story uh, 250 pages or so and as I said before this kind of short stories short link uh, series I really enjoy them because it's very easy to me to read uh, then we've got The Snake Man's Bane by Owe Bentley. I recently read a book by him with uh, collaboration, um, and then I, 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 I really enjoyed his type of writing. So this one I had to buy it. It feels something like uh, Conan and so on. Then I've got um, Cthulhu Attacks, the first novel by Sin Out. Um, I'm already reading it. Um, there is a second novel, but I believe it was not made by the same uh, author, or at least not the same. Uh, there, there is a collaboration. I don't know how it was written, but some people really didn't enjoy it, but enjoyed the first one, but enjoyed the second one. So let's see. So we've got here what more? Um, the Maleficent ones. This one, seven, sorry, by Cameron Johnson. He is the writer of um, a couple, one series that has come out to two books: The Age of Tyranny, uh, The Terror God, and God of Broken Things. And and since this novel was the Seven Samurai, but <laughs> in another perspective, I had to buy it. Four hundred pages, not that much. And at least it's not a series. I'm all these fantasy novels being released are always part of series and so on. So yeah. Mm. Another thing I, I bought um, recently was um, the Shannara Chronicles, okay, by Terry Brooks. I bought the first four novels, so, not the first four, the first trilogy, and then the first King of Shannara, which is the prequel. I didn't bought all of them because they are over thirty, but I wanted. To have, even case I would like to read it, and the first trilogy are. Um, most people say that they are connected, of course, because in the same world, but they are different characters and different stuff, and the, the plot really goes forward in the next series, and you don't have to read it. So I had to buy these ones. We've got here what more? Um, we've got here um, a series that I really. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of them, uh, a lot of people talking about, but never really uh, think of buying. But I, then I saw this series on sale for under $8, and so I bought it. It's Empire of Silence by Christopher Ruocchio and The Hole in Dark. These novels were published by Dawn Books, which they are very cheap. Uh, and, uh, and the third one is on its way. I believe there are four novels, so uh, it, this is a, a sci-fi uh, space opera series, so there's that. Then we've got here David Gamel novels. I had all novels by David Gamel in the Drenai series, and um, being uh, uh, one of the, the fathers of the modern fantasy high fantasy, not high fantasy, but sword and sorcery fantasy and so on, I, I had to buy them. I, I'm, I've i got his, uh, as I said before, 
uh, the Renai series, I have got Regant series, the four novels, and but the only one I was missing was this one, The Sword of Night and Day. Sorry, I'm just uh, protecting my book and so it has still here, I'm now doing this. And then I bought two solo novels by him called The Dark Moon and the other one, I'm not sure where he is, he's not here, I don't know where he is, but it's, um, I'm sorry, I must be, don't know where, to, where I put it, but it's, um, I don't know, I just received it, so, yeah, uh, I don't know where I put it, but, uh, it's another novel by him, a solo novel, not uh, a part of series, if you will. I believe it's um, Echoes of a Great Song, but I'm not really sure. I misplace it. Um, I bought the second novel of John Ringo, To Sail a Dark and Sea. Uh, I've read the first one, as you probably know, I've made a, a review. And I bought the second, I bought also the third, which is Uncoming, and the fourth one, Unfortunately, is uh, doesn't have is is not available here in Portugal uh, through Amazon, so I don't know why how I will go to buy it. Uh, that's the problem with VAT and so on. Uh, I've bought also three novels by David Emel as well, which is Bloodstone, The Last Guardian, and Wolf in Shadow. These novels. Um, are part of a Stone of Power series, which I believe there are seven books, five, seven, seven books, but these three are um, five books, I don't know. Uh, these novels are um, a series, a trilogy, okay, of uh, this guy here, which reminds me of Undertaker, but as you can see in this one it says book four. It is John, Ch John Chavo? Channel. Um, this is book four. The, um, but, to my knowledge, these three are a trilogy. There are two more called The uh, Lion of Macedon and Dark, and Dark Prince, which is a, a duology. And um, there are uh, other two, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the Stones of Power series. There are seven novels, I believe, in the, in the total. But these two are, are uh, a trilogy, the, those two are a, do, a duology and so on. Um, apart from this, I believe I bought something that I have not shown before, so I'm going to show. Um, this one, Super Luminari. This is a trilogy called Lords of Creation, Space of Empires and uh, The World Armada, which is John C. Wright. I've reading some stories by him and really enjoy what he, what what he thinks or what he wrote. I believe I've these two I've shown before, but eh, whatever. These are a, a, a series by a, a company. Where I'm really enjoying buying some books of them. It's DMR, um, and they really make some great uh, series because first of all we've got here. I built this one I have shown before. It's Byron A. Roberts series, uh, Kalen Thor. This is the first uh, in the series, and then recently he made a new one. Byron A. Roberts, for those who don't know, it's about Sagot, uh, main uh, singers and uh, composer and so on. So I really enjoy what what he makes, and this one, it's Necromancy in. Nil Syria, this one. This one is, was done by D. M. Um, Ritzelin, which I believe is the owner of this company, which is called DMR. Uh, they have got a lot of certain sources and old stuff, which is very interesting. And then the Eye of Solo. This one I've read the first five stories. Uh, but uh, the, the other ones are in the, the pipeline to read. Uh, to finish, we've got here what? 
two novels, okay. One of them I know I don't not showing, but the other one I don't know. This one. This is a moon full of stars. John Mollison. Okay. This is a post-apocalyptic kind of series. And this one, Race of a Broken Land by the Raw Doll Screaming Press. And it's a very cool cover and uh, book. It's by uh, S. Craig Zal Blair, which is um, a Hollywood uh, director. He wrote, he wrote, no, he, he directed a, a series. And after watching the movie, I thought, okay, this is very cool. Let me buy the novels because if they are as cool as this, let me let me buy. Uh, the, the first novel he wrote was a congregation of Chekhov's, which I'm probably going to buy it after reading this one. Um, the movie he, he, he made, if you want to try, it's very violent. It's the Bone Tomahawk, it's like this. The cover is nothing special, <laughs> and, and I thought, okay, this is a western, but then the novel started, and okay, this is something different. Yeah, so this is it, my unboxing a lot of books. I'm, as I said before, I'm trying to protect all my series, all my books, like, like um, to, to protect the novels and to see if they can keep uh, in shape for my son and so on. So, thank you, have a nice day.